Hi, I'm Amy Ashworth, and I'm doing a quick rudimentary overview style tour of the ideal virtual learning commons as created by Dr. David Larcher and Carol Coughlin. They created this and other templates using Google Sites. The reason I'm doing uh, this right now is that it's a good example what a VLC should look like. Um, Dr. Larcher and Carol Coughlin have done extensive work focused on learning commons. Many of their articles can be easily located online without database access, as well as their Learning Commons site where this template is located. In their 2014 Knowledge Quest article that's titled Climbing to Excellence, Defining Characteristics of a Learning Commons, they talk a lot about participatory learning. So a learning commons, whether physical or virtual, is going to have some features that aren't native to a regular library site. While the average library site will have links to databases, help, citation making tools, tutorials, social media, etc. The model VLC is a participatory environment, a center for knowledge building, literacies, so here we have Knowledge Building Center, um, Literacies, um, School Culture, here is Student Culture, a place to test new strategies for the teachers and staff, and a place for participatory play, um, like here in the Design Hall. That's kind of like a maker spacey kind of place. So these are characteristics that I pulled from the Knowledge Quest article I mentioned before. Um, and uh, I have the link for that in our bibliography, as well as the link to the template and the Learning Commons site that Dr. Lorcher and Carol Coughlin put together. I do think it's important to note here that most school sites do have many of the features of a virtual learning commons but they are more spread out. So here we have everything nicely located on this one place. Um, and maybe from the, from the home page of a school, there would be a link that says um, virtual learning commons. And then that would direct you to the site and that's where people would go to get to all of these different um, great places. Um, standards are, in, in terms of just like what I've seen and what I've looked for, is that it's usually the home page is considered to be kind of a portal and you'll find a lot of these things located there like a lot of stuff on the home page will have to do with um, boosting student culture and you'll have um, sections for sports and athletic tabs and you'll have um, student life tabs and stuff like that but the difference again here is that it's all located in one spot. Um, it's that participatory experience that we're really, really looking for in a, in a virtual learning commons. So as I've been talking, I've been hovering over the places where these characteristics come to life in the virtual learning commons. If you'd like to check out the site for yourself, um, like I mentioned before, it is listed in the bibliography. Thank you for watching.